The Logical Thinking Processes, presented by Bill Detmer. Part 3. The Current Reality Tree. So, we started presenting the Gold Tree, mm -hmm. uh, which probably must be the beginning before you do anything uh, using thinking processes for your system. Yes. We've defined the system. Now, what is the next step? The next step is to find out how is the system behaving or performing with respect to the benchmark established by the goal tree. And so what we do is we examine the goal, uh, the statement of the goal, and the critical success factors, and that prompts us to look at those aspects of reality and determine how are we doing against these benchmarks. To the extent that we are succeeding at a particular critical success factor, that is not a problem. But when we find that we're falling short of performance or maybe failing completely in one or more critical success factors, uh, this becomes the beginning of a current reality tree. The statement of that failure becomes a system level undesirable effect. And that un undesirable effect becomes the beginning of a current reality tree which we build by peeling the onion from the outside in or from the top down. And it ends up with a statement of a critical root cause that is producing that undesirable effect. The value in using the goal tree as the benchmark for this is that we absolutely assure that the undesirable effects that we're using are truly system level undesirable effects and not somebody's petty aggravation within the system. And the critical root cause then can be logically confirmed to lead to that undesirable effect. That's the way you really can determine whether you're working on the right underlying problem in the system. And when you complete the tree, you have pretty much full confidence that you're working on the right thing.